on the Kia Connect app, open it up and do a refresh. On the remote section, uh, set it to stop charging if it's currently charging. So there we go, set to remote command. If you have an app on your charger, like I have on the Zappi, open that up just to confirm that it has stopped charging. And whilst it does that, you go into your settings, make sure it's got fast enabled so it charges at the maximum rate when the timer comes on on the car. Right, currently it's stopped. So now if we go back the Kia Connect app. Scroll down to schedule charging. It's pulling the charging schedule from the car. Okay. Um, you, you have to set a departure time, so let's say we're leaving at 7 a.m. And we'll do it weekdays. And we're going to depart at 7 a.m. Make sure first departure is turned on. Press save and then we're going to go schedule for charging off peak tariffs prioritized and let's say that the off peak time starts at 2 a.m. and the, uh, the period ends at 4 a.m. Okay, so charging will start in the defined off peak time and continue until the defined charge level is reached. Now press save and schedule charging. You must check on the schedule for charging, otherwise, it's not enabled. And send it. So charging scheduled. Right, um, after you've sent the charging schedule to the vehicle from the Kia Connect app, um, make sure that you just run for this quick checklist. So next departure is set for tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. The charging schedule must be on. If it's not, it's, gonna, it's not gonna run it. Um, if you click here, you can set the state of charge that you want it charged to. So on AC, I've got it set to 60% so that it's achievable within, within the time of cheap rate. Now, obviously, if you want a longer range, because you're going further, you can set that higher and it's going to start earlier. So part of it will be inside the cheap rate and part of it will be inside normal rate. So if I set that to 80%, for example, it's going to take 2 hours and 40 and give you about 211 miles. 100, 270. Um, so if I go back up, if I lock to the instrument cluster, it now says it's going to start at 9.20 tonight charging to get me that full range, which isn't what I want. I just want to charge during cheat rate but you might want to. So I'm just going to put that back down to 60, just to prove it's going to work. Notice that the uh, binnacles change back to 2 a.m. And we'll see how we go.
Okay, um, I just happened to be awake at three, so I had a look at the Zappy app on my phone, and I can see the car's charging at 7.2 kilowatts. So the timer has worked. So uh, it's looking good. Right. So last night, scheduled charging between two and four to 60 percent was a success, and um, I hope everybody finds this useful. Um, I've turned off scheduled charging now manually in the settings. So if I want the schedule back on, I just go back into there.